What's up, everybody? How's it going? I'm Brad Dollar, producer, engineer, and coach. Hope you're doing wonderful. Welcome to the channel. When it comes to music production and all the things that surround it, I'm deeply fascinated when new things pop up that enable a deeper experience with songs and the vision of an artist. Kanye West unveiled the Donda Stem Player to accompany the rollout of his new album, Donda. And so I knew as soon as I got a chance to get back to my little space here and make a video, I wanted to tell all of you about it because this thing is super cool. And I think Kanye's only the first artist we're really going to see using this device. But before we get started, if you can do me a huge favor and smash the like button and the subscribe button, that would bring this news to more people just like yourself. And honestly, it really helps the channel. So thanks so much for doing that. Seriously, it means a lot. Without further ado, Let's go. So today, Kanye West and his team unveiled the Donda Stem Player, which allows you to listen back to the entire performance of a song from Donda, as well as isolate the individual tracks that make the song in the mix. The only real comparison to this would be to have the stems and then play them back out of a multi-track digital audio workstation, like Logic or Pro Tools or Ableton Live. So what the Donda Stem Player does is make all of that functionality of storing, playing back, and isolating all happen on this little tiny device that kind of just looks like a hockey puck or like a Tamagotchi. Now to me, it's not only a music maker, but a music fan, this makes a lot of sense. It creates a very tangible experience with the music, which is quite honestly kind of rare unless you're going to play the song, which I guess is really what this is. With the Donda Stem Player, you actually get to play with the song, play with the arrangement, play with how the loop comes together, which part comes in, which part comes out, at what time, and get a different hands-on experience with the songs than you otherwise get if you just played it back through Spotify. Again, unless you have a bigger hardware box like an MPC or a computer running software, there's really no other way for you to do this. The only thing that's sort of similar to this is like a toy store version of a little voice recorder that you can play back. But this is definitely a lot more sophisticated. Now, what's exciting about this is definitely the functionality that you can solo things, you can mute things, Looks like there's some kind of like effects or stuttering that's on here. I'm not really sure yet. Like that's all really cool and it's gonna be an awesome way to hear Donda. But what's even better is if you go to stemplayer.com when you own this device, you'll be able to upload your own tracks into it and make your own stems that you can play with. So beyond just Kanye West, this little stem device might actually become one of the best new merch items for artists all over the world. Several times a week, I talk to artists and their teams about how they can create a more engaging experience with their music when it's released. And one thing that often comes up is, you know, doing remix contests or making the files accessible in some sort of fun or limited way. But this Don to Stem Player is a lot closer to what I think most artists want to do for their fans when they talk about giving them an experience that involves their music. Especially if you're a creator that's very like production focused and the way songs come together is very important to you, having a stem player like this would actually give you the chance to demonstrate some of that and show your process. And ultimately, I think being able to show your process is what draws people into whatever you make, whether that's a beat or a birdhouse. When people can see how you made what you made, it's an open invite for them to come closer into who you are without you having to over explain who you are, what you're doing, why you're doing it. Ultimately, when it comes to our music is really the end goal. We just want people to come in and engage with it and be a part of it. So I'm definitely interested in the Donda Stem Player. I think that for Kanye West, it's gonna be a great item. But furthermore, I think beyond the Donda release, when other artists jump into this and use it, I think it's gonna be a blast. And at the very least, will be a new iteration on a mobile music player. Now I'm no fool. I know in a year's time, if not less, this is going to be outdated and there's gonna be something else to replace it. But you have to remember that with innovation, we have to take baby steps and those baby steps turn into full steps and those turn into a run and that turns into flying and that turns into going to space. So wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. But I think you get what I mean. This little device, as kitschy as it is, I do think that this is going to be a very inspirational tool for people to plug back into Kanye's life and maybe even inspire them to make their own music in the process, which to me, I think is one of the best things that can ever happen when you make a song is that you inspire someone else to go express themselves through music. So yeah, it looks like you'll be able to customize any song and you'll be able to split any song into stems. There's a few different websites across the web that will do this for you for free, but if it can do that from this little device, that is amazing. We already know you'll be able to control 
different stems like the vocals, the drums, the bass, and other samples. But you'll also be able to play with the loop, the overall speed, some effects, which I think stuttering is one of those, and maybe some delay. And then the ability to save and play it back, which is so cool. It seems like with something like this, it's almost gonna be like a toy. And if you make something really neat, like cool, and then it's gonna go into the ether. But if you can actually save the stuff you make on this, this might actually become a very significant music production tool over time. So it's very promising. And I think that's really why I'm very excited about the Donda Stem Player is I'm stoked for Kanye. I think it's great. I'm very excited for everybody's part of that project, but I'm even more pumped to see how this technology and this idea travels out into the world and becomes a part of other songs and other music. Because when it comes down to it, I think fans of so many different kinds of genres and groups and artists are going to love this. Like what fan of the Beatles or Metallica or Fleetwood Mac or Cage the Elephant or Billie Eilish, who wouldn't enjoy getting to play with the elements that made the tracks that they love? I know I'm excited too, and even as a producer who has all that stuff, I'm really, really looking forward to the limitations that the Donda Stem Player has and what that might actually do for creativity. I'm imagining like importing my own songs into it and my own samples and splitting those up and doing quick remixes or maybe imagining a new way a song can unfold, even if it's happening during production. So I don't think that the Donda Stem Player will only be for playing back songs. I think that this also has a tremendous ability to become a creation tool as well. I'm looking forward to it and I can't wait for these things to start shipping. So that's all for now. I'm just really excited about technology like this, especially when it's related to an artist's release of their music. I think that creates so many new ways to imagine how to release music and how to get fans and people across space and time to interact with what you made and be engaged in it long term. So let me know what you think about the Donda Stem Player. Let me know if you've seen other devices like this or maybe there's tracks you're especially excited to have access to doing this with. So let me know. I'd love to hear what you think. That's what I got for now. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye. -bye.